Joe from The Budget Mom. Come along with me as I strive to live a life I love on a budget that I can afford. Today what I wanted to do, I've been getting a ton of requests to show you how to fill out the net, with, net worth tracker. It seems to be one of the worksheets that's giving you guys a lot of problems, especially since I just posted it on my Instagram feed um, a couple days ago. So people are like, what, how, what is this worksheet? What does it mean? What, what are, so I'm gonna be showing you some different worksheets in the Budget by Paycheck workbook today and how I fill them out and how I use them and how do they relate to the process and the method of the Budget by Paycheck method. I try sharing my story to remind readers that there is a way out. That with hard work, dedication, determination, motivation, it's all about having a plan for your money. And that's what gives you the true control. Holy crap, it just changed my life. And they're like, oh man, Nico. It takes time. It takes dedication. It takes work. But no more credit card debt. We're going to be talking about today is the net worth tracker. So why is tracking your net worth important? Your net worth is essentially an overall snapshot, like a picture of your overall financial health at any given point in time. For me and this worksheet, I fill this out, the balance amount, at the very end of the month and I do it after everything has posted. So bills are paid, savings contributions are made and posted to my savings accounts. Literally everything is done for the month and posted to their correct accounts. So usually it's around the last day of the month that I fill this in. Your assets are anything that has value, anything that you own. It could be checking accounts, savings accounts, retirement accounts, maybe you have an art collection that has some value. Those things need to be put on the asset side. Now, I've been getting questions. Your vehicles, your vehicles are considered an asset. They're just a different kind of asset. They're known as a depreciating asset, but they still have value. Even though the value is going down over time, it still counts towards your net worth. And here's how it works. If you have a car, you need to, what I do is I go to Kelly Blue Book. It doesn't have to be exact. It can be an estimate. So I don't want you to feel like you have to spend hours getting the exact amount that you would get for your vehicle. Get an estimate. Kelly Blue Book is what I use to update. Now, I use the trade-in value of my vehicle. Of course, you're going to get more for your car if you do a private sale. So you have, and there's options on Kelly Blue Book on how to pick those different methods and the value of your vehicle if you choose one or the other. But make sure the option that you choose is realistic to what you would really do. Are you going to trade in the, your, your car to get another one. If you do, that would be the value that you use. If you have a, if you still owe money and you have a loan for your car, that's what's going to go in the liabilities. So the value of your car, what it's worth at the time of filling out this worksheet, according to Kelly Blue Book, that's how I do it, is what you write down as an asset. The liability of your car is what you still owe on it, your loan, and that's going to go in liabilities. Now, people have been asking me, I don't own a house, so my home is not considered an asset, and there is a big, huge debate out there in the financial world if your house is considered an asset. Because technically, you live in your home, a lot of people don't believe that it is considered an asset. For me, personally, I believe it's an asset. So I would write down the value of my home. I would literally jump onto Zillow, now, I've been, I had a lot of real estate agents reach out to me who follow me who say, well, that doesn't give you a very accurate value of your home. The system isn't updated. I'm not looking for an exact dollar amount. I'm looking for an estimate. I'm not going to spend all day trying to get the exact dollar of my house or my vehicle value. I want an estimate. So I would jump onto Zillow, type in my address, and see what that is telling me my house is worth. And the same goes like you would do for your car. 
the va the if you still owe money, you have a mortgage, you have a loan, you still owe something, that mortgage is going to go on your liabilities. That's only if you truly believe that your ass your home is an asset. Like I said, there are some people out there who don't think it is. I personally do. Um, but then it's also like your emergency savings. Now, I own my Harley Davidson outright. Um, it does have a value. I check that value every month on Kelly Blue Book. So it's literally everything that you own that has value goes in the assets. Everything that you owe, credit cards, student loan, mortgage, car loan, all of that personal loan, all of that goes into the liabilities. To get your net worth, you want to do your total assets minus your total liabilities. That gives you your net worth. Now, don't be afraid if you get a negative number. I was a negative net worth for a very long time. Very, very long time. It just means simply that you owe more than you own. And as you go through your financial journey, you'll start to see your net worth increase. That's the goal. You want your net worth to increase over time as you get older, which means you're either increasing your assets, you're saving money, or you're paying down debt. This lets you know if you're making progress when it comes to your overall financial picture, not just debt, not just saving, but your whole financial picture. Now this last month versus this month, you're only going to have this information if you did this last month. So if you didn't track your net worth last month, that's okay. You can leave these blank and then fill this in for the following month. But for me, I know what my net worth was last month. I've been tracking it for over a year. So I have this information to fill in. But you literally would take, I give you the formula. So for your change in dollars, it would be your net worth this month minus your net worth last month. And then your change in percentage would be the change in dollars divided by your last month's net worth. I give you the formulas right down here. So this is the net worth tracker. I hope I made that a little more clear with how to fill this out, what it really means to your financial journey. If you found this video helpful, please share it and don't forget to subscribe.